is Alvin Aki with Origami by Aki. I'm going to show you how to make a giraffe. Okay, we start with a square sheet of paper. It only has to be colored on one side. We're going to put the good side facing down, fold it into a triangle. And then we're going to make it into a kite shape. And we actually only have to curse it or crease it up to about this point. You don't have to crease it all the way to the end. And I'll show you why in a minute. We're going to do that in both directions. And then we're going to fold it into a rectangle in both directions. Now we did the diagonal folds this way, so we're going to do the same thing on the other two corners. So first make it into a triangle in that direction, and then make the kite shape. It actually only has to go up to where, the, uh, where these lines meet here. about midway along that crease. Okay. So now what we're going to do is bring up the two corners like this. And then this part, let me just do this side one at a time. We're just going to fold it so it lies flat. So this is what we're doing. So we're bringing this down like this so that it lies flat. We're going to do the same thing on the other side. So bringing it like this. So it lies flat. And then if we bring these two together, I'm going to fold it in half along this long way, like this. Bring these two together and then just flatten everything down. So flattening it down like this. Okay. okay, so now we have to choose one to be the head and the other one to be the giraffe is going to actually have three legs. So the, the part that comes to a point the nicest is this one. So we're going to use this for the head. To make the head, we're going to do a reverse fold along this line here by bringing this back so that it goes straight up like that. Okay. So to make that, we start from here. And we went along this diagonal line here and just did a reverse inside fold like that. Okay, and now we're going to take this part here and bring it to this point here. So it goes right up to the edge there. And we're going to do the same thing on the other side. So to match that, do the other side. And then we're going to fold it back one more time, like this, on both sides. Okay. So to get there, we're here. We fold this part back to the middle, and then back over one more time on both sides. So this is going to be the front two legs. To make the back leg, you're going to have a little back side right here, and it's going to go down to, you just have to see where it's going to stand up nicely, It'd probably be about right here. So you fold that over, and then we're going to do a reverse 
inside fold. So it's going to be like this. Let's make the back leg. <coughs> so again, from here, we had this out like this. You kind of first judge where it's going to stand up nicely. So it'll be about here. Because these, these front, this one's going to be a little bit shorter than the front legs because the front legs, you're going to have to spread them out a little bit so he stands up nicely. And then to make the final fold, it's a inside reverse fold, like that. And to make the head, it's going to be this top part. You can have the head go at any angle. I like to have them kind of reaching up so that he's a little bit taller. So you just you know, have the head going up at a slight angle. And then we're going to do this reverse outside fold like that. And then just give him a little bit of a, like a nose here. And to make him stand up, you're going to have to open up his two front legs a little bit. And so this is Alvin with Origami by Aki, and that's how you make an origami giraffe.